Oh, what's this? Our first elimination scenario. The Montreal Canadiens will be eliminated from playoff contention if the Capitals get at least one point versus Buffalo. Now I get it. The team is expected to miss the playoffs. Alex, I heard we got our first NHL playoff elimination scenario. The Montreal Canadiens is expected to be eliminated from playoff contention if the Washington Capitals get at least one point versus Buffalo. That's right, Christy, because the Montreal Canadiens had a really bad season. I know how it all went wrong. Following their magical 2021 season, after making the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time since 1993, difficult and necessary changes were made during the 2021 offseason. When the season began on October 13th versus Montreal, they had a horrific start in October 2021, where they felt flat on their face. They rode a five-game losing streak and then snapped the skit on October 23rd, but the losing continued for the remainder of October 2021, except for the game at San Jose. October 2021 sucked for the Canadians because their record was 2-8-0. The horrific months continued for the Golden Knight in November, because they did the same thing as October, keep falling flat in their faces, and this costed a general manager change for the team. On November 28th, the Canadians had to fire their general manager, Mark Bergevin, for their contract expiration. The Canadians went 4-8-2 in November. November was an absolute nightmarish month for the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, I bet no one was the Montreal Canadian of the month of November 2021 because of how bad it was for the team. Agreed. December 2021 was also awful for the Montreal Canadiens because the Canadiens was spiraling towards being out of the playoff race and bottomed out in the Atlantic Division by Christmas. Omicron took over the NHL in December that costed the NHL to postpone nine of their games to February 2022. The Montreal Canadiens ended 2021 like a dumpster fire in a 0-4 shutout loss to the Carolina Hurricanes. It was a crummy way to end a crummy month, and then came January 2022 and January 2022 was awful for the Montreal Canadiens. They began the year with a 2-5 loss to the Florida Panthers and ended January with bad blowout losses. The Canadiens went 1-7-3. Pretty awful month. Then came February 2022, and that marked the ending for Dominique Duchamp. Following a 7-1 blow, out lost to the New Jersey Devils, the Montreal Canadiens had to let go of Dominique Duchamp, because apparently, the 7-1 blow out lost to the New Jersey Devils was the last straw for Dominique Duchamp. In retrospect, the decision to give Duchamp a three-year extension was a baffling one and then a regrettable one now. I know it was appropriate to do it in the 2021 season due to how good the 2021 season was for the team. At the time of his departure, the Canadians held a record of 837, last overall, in the NHL. The Canadians finally posted a good record in a month. The Canadians went 5-4-0 in February. At last they finally posted a good record. Since the team is expected to be eliminated from playoff contention, I don't know what's gonna happen to the Montreal Canadiens. I think they will win the number one draft pick in the 2022 NHL Draft Lottery, and they will try to have an active 2022 offseason by Kent Hughes. When Dominique Dutchheim was fired on February 8, 2022, was Dominique Dutchheim a good coach? It is hard to say since he joined the Montreal Canadiens in April 2018 as Bergevin was tearing down and rebuilding the team. As well as 2021 went, the following 45 games of 2021-22 showed that, no. Ducharm really was not that good. But sure, the Canadiens tried to be stingy and they, kind of, were. But in a league that was becoming more about offense and as the team added more offensively talented players, Ducharm and his staff could not put the puzzle pieces together for a successful unit. He does not have a job today in a season where the Canadians were, on paper, more talented than any team he had before. Was it a good situation for Ducharm? No. Did he make it a better one? No. When would you have fired Ducharm? November 1st. After that horrid October where the team fell flat on their face, 
I would pull the proverbial trigger and get the team's act together ahead of a busy November. Will Dot Charm get a job somewhere else? Probably. Unless some horror story about he treated a Canadian, Halifax Moosehead, or a Drummondville Voltager comes out, his reputation is positive. I could see a team thinking he could do better in a non-rebuilding environment for the season prior to it. If the Montreal Canadiens get eliminated from playoff contention, then a part two will come out where Alex, Christy, and Moyer discuss about how the 2021-22 Montreal Canadiens season went wrong.